In Philippians chapter 3, the Apostle Paul begins with the word finally, and he's giving some warnings. He's given some caution lights to those in Philippi, and he's warning them of false teachers. He calls them evil workers. He calls them dogs. He calls them mutilators of the flesh because they were coming in trying to reimpose all kinds of Jewish rules and rituals as opposed to just following the simplicity of faith in Christ. Paul talks about a lot of his heritage, his accomplishments, and all the things that he had done as a Hebrew of Hebrews. And he says, don't get your eyes on yourself. Don't get your focus on all the things you're doing for God. And, and then he says something very significant, and I, I wanna read it from verse 10 here, it says. He says, this is, this is why I, I take my eyes off myself and put them on Christ. He says, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. Paul says, I don't put my focus on my sufferings or my heritage or all the things I've done, but I put them on Jesus. And then he goes on as he's warning them, challenging them, cautioning them, encouraging them. He, he says these words to them. I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, all the religious things he had accomplished, reaching forward to those things which are ahead. He says, I press for the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. So he reminds us that the main place we should be looking, our central focus is to press forward, to bring about a greater trust and a deeper, I think, reliance upon what Christ has done for us and not so much focused on what we've done for him. Forget those things that lie behind and press forward for Jesus Christ.